Hello and welcome to Roll the Dice on Love, Speed Date Edition. My name is Lisa Yarrow and today we're going to put the theory to the test. Is it really personality over looks? We're here in lovely Los Angeles, California where we're going to have male and female contestants all going on a speed date. But the only catch is they're all going to be blindfolded. So let's see. All right, welcome back to Roll the Dice on Love Speed Dating Edition, and we have our lovely contestants here. So, me being the third wheel, I'm gonna go ahead and ask you guys a few questions, and then I'll let you guys take it from there. Question number one. Are you an introvert or extrovert? Extrovert. Extrovert. Describe your fashion style. I would say my fashion style is a little bohemian. I love light colors. I like to always have a pop of color. I love long flowing dresses. I would say that's about it. Very simple, easy going. Nice. And what about you? A little alternative, quite kind of flamboyant, outlandish sometimes, but um, kind of a lot of straight lines as well. All right, next question. Describe one toxic trait that you have. A toxic trait? That you have. <laughs> uh, I didn't really think about this. Are you perfect? No, I am not perfect. So what's a toxic I, trait that I you have? know that. A toxic trait that I have is that I... Sometimes I don't like trying new things. Okay, and what about you? Um, I am quick to step away from things if they don't feel good. So sometimes I have to like train myself to give things more time to work out. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna let you guys ask each other questions. Ladies first. So what would you say is your ideal date? Um, for me, I'm, I'm kind of quite low key. I prefer to just have an environment where I can really get to know somebody and vibe with them and to kind of feel out the chemistry. I'm not really too pressed about exactly what it is we're doing or like well, where we are as long as it's an environment we can just vibe. Okay, do you have okay. a question for her? Yeah, so a big thing for, for me is um, I, don't, uh, I don't do any substances. So I don't drink, I don't smoke weed or anything like that. I don't really mind if people around me kind of do, but um, you know, if there's anything that you're like a really super heavy user of, then it can sometimes be a little bit of a compatibility issue. I do not smoke or drink, so that's literally perfect. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, your next question for him. What are you looking for in a relationship? What are you looking for in your partner? I try to just let things to evolve into whatever they evolve into. I'm kind of open to whatever, whatever emerges to be honest, I kind of think that going into relationships with too firm and like fixed of an idea of what you need is uh, it's, it's kind of folly. It kind of ends up always kind of playing against you because people are not simple like that. Okay. You have to let people be who they are. And your last question for her. How tall are you? Uh, I'm 5'1". <laughs> oh, wonderful. That's my favorite. I'm like 6'4". So. All right. Are you really? <laughs> so, so far, balloon has not been popped. Now, I'm gonna let you guys answer one last question. So tell each other your name and your age. Ladies first. My name is Alina and I am 22 years old. My name is LX, I'm 33. Balloons are still there? All right, take your blindfolds off. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you, is it a match for you? You're a little too old. I'm sorry. It's okay. So you want to go ahead and pop your balloon? Oh. I'll try not to take it too personally. I'm so scared. It's, it's going to be the sound of my heart breaking. You ready? Oh, you're breaking his heart. Can you pop it? I'm so scared of popping balloons. I don't know. <laughs> One, two, three. I'll walk you through it. it. <laughs> yeah! I mean, yeah. Good job. <laughs> First question, ladies first. Describe your fashion style. So, 
I went to fashion de design school, so everything, everything is fashion. Okay, so you wear a little bit of everything. Yes. Nice. And what about you? I wear like a lot of streetwear stuff mixed with like, you know, I like to wear a lot of natural stuff like blues and ocean themed stuff. What is one of your weirdest habits? Binge watching every show. Right now I'm on Raisin Caney. Uh, learning songs and languages I don't speak. All right, I'm gonna let ladies go first. You have any questions you'd like to ask him? Yes, Grand Rising or Good Morning? Grand Rising. Hey. Okay, the sun is not coming up today. So since she popped her balloon, I'm gonna let you guys both take off your blindfolds. And then we're gonna need an explanation as to why you popped your balloon. You can take yours off. Hi. Hi. Okay. Grand Rising is really toxic. I don't know. Every time, every, every time I've uh, dated someone that said uh -huh. Grand Rising, the most toxic energy it ever. It was just never, no. The rising has, the been, rising has been slowly going, descending. Okay. <laughs> is he somebody that you would have? He's cute. Okay. And how about her? She's someone that you would have taken a chance on. You didn't pop her balloon yet. Oh. <laughs> no, no, I'm saying, like, I mean, she, she popped her balloon. No, I'm saying, you, because you didn't pop your balloon, it showed that you still wanted to get to know more about her. So was mm -hmm. she someone, if you saw her on the streets in L.A., would you? Yeah, yeah, she's cute, yeah. I mean, you know, sucks, you know, about the question, guys. but... I didn't think, I think you're everybody person. says good morning. I was like, fuck it, you know? Like, oh, so, so do you really <laughs> say good morning or don't I, you? I really say good morning. You just asked me if it was That's a choice. So. Oh, so, okay, well. I mean, I'm going to say good morning. I didn't get the context, like, you know? So you everybody says. Because everybody, rising, cause you, it, that, cause everybody cooler. yeah, it sounds cooler. All right, well, thanks for playing. Hopefully you guys you're will welcome. match with someone else. Yeah. <laughs>
What's your sign? I'm a Sagittarius. Scorpio. What's your toxic trait that you personally have? Ladies first. My toxic trait is I'm not very patient. Like anger issues? No, not anger issues. Just I just like to get things when I want to get them in. Yeah, so okay. I'm not very patient. And yours? That's crazy. She stole my answer. Oh, <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm impatient. Um, I like I, I like things right now when okay. I can get to them. So. All right, so you get to ask each other questions. Ladies first, what would you like to ask him? What time did you go to bed last night? 11 p.m. Okay. And you? Uh, what type of music do you listen to? I'm not going to lie. I don't really listen to a lot of contemporary music right now. There are specific um, uh, artists that I listen to. Like, I listen to Jay-Z, and um, I love, 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 love Nicki Minaj. Um, but those are probably the two. And then outside of that, I really listen to Christian, um, Christian music. music. Okay, last question for each other. What question do you have for him? When was the last time you talked to your dad? Last night. Okay. What type of uh, designer clothes do you wear? Oh, goodness. Um, so my favorite is Palm Angels, and I love Balenciaga and Fendi. Time is up. So I see the balloons are still here. I'm gonna have you both take off your blindfold, but also you are able to pop your balloon after you take off your blindfold. So count of three, one, two, three, take off your blindfold. Okay. Ugh. All right. Ooh. Okay. Hi. How you doing? Okay. All right, all right. <laughs> okay, so why did you pop your balloon? She's a beautiful woman. Um, just a little bit mature for me okay. um right. so, yeah. cool all right well thank you guys thank Better you luck with the next yes I totally it. totally, totally. <laughs> are you spontaneous or are you a planner a little bit of both same a little bit of both are you an introvert or an extrovert I am an introverted extrovert. Same. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're on the same page so far. Okay. I speak when I need to. I don't, you know. All yeah. right. Do you believe in friends with benefits? Uh, mm, mm, it depends. If it's mutual, I mean, sure. Absolutely not. Okay. Balloons are still there. All right. So now you each get to ask each other a question. Ladies first. Okay. How you doing? Um, let's see. How do you stay fit and healthy? I go to the gym every day, every morning. Okay. Um, if you had to describe the last 10 photos in your phone in three words, what would they be? Uh, not of me. Screenshots of <laughs> random things. <laughs> what decade of R&B is your favorite? Um, so many. <laughs> I'm going to go with the 80s. Okay. And your last question for her. After a stressful day, what do you do to unwind? Watch a comfort movie and or yoga and then, of course, eat. Food is always the cure. All right, balloon's still there. Go ahead and take your blindfold off and see who you so far met. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. Awesome. All right, name and age. My name's Candice, I'm 35. Keon, I'm 32. Okay. Is it a yes for you? 32. <laughs> uh, second. It's just a little young, not Okay. That's fair. It's just a okay. little. Just a little. I'm Can't not... change the age. Right, right. I know, right? You can't do that. Well, thank you guys for playing. Thank Hopefully you, the next Absolutely. match will be a match. What do you spend most of your money on? 
I would say I spend most of my money on food. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Food and bills. <laughs> okay, next question. Describe your fashion style. I mostly wear gym clothes, but also just anything. Dresses um, in the summer, you know, and um, cute little matching sets in the winter. It just depends on the mood. It depends. Uh, fly, eccentric, out there, colorful. Uh, definitely have some unique pieces in my closet. Yeah. Name one toxic trait that you have. Um, I'm definitely a runner. <clears throat> so when things kind of get rocky, I do tend to run. So I need... Hey! Oh! Communication is key. <laughs> she's a runner, she's a track star. Okay, all right. Go ahead and take your blindfolds off and see who you did not match with. Hello. Hi. Um, so communication is key. That's yeah, why you Yeah, communication is key. True. Uh, you can't run away from agree. problems. You got to right. talk it out. That's At least true. explain why you're running first. Oh, of course, yeah. I normally do tend to do that, okay. which is why I need someone. So I didn't finish. I was gonna say, which is why I need someone to kind of like wanna, you know, nah, like you gotta motivate wanna, me. Nah, you gotta wanna do that. True, <laughs> but that's my toxic trait. So Ooh. that's just something I'm working on. All right. Well, thank you guys for playing. Hopefully, you don't find you. your match. Yes. Do you still communicate with any of your exes? No. Absolutely not. Second question, are you an introvert or extrovert? Uh, mostly introvert. I'm a little bit of both, but definitely extrovert. Describe your fashion style. Mm, I'd say I'm like kind of indie. I like a lot of two-piece sets, um, like crop tops and jeans and sneakers. And, and you? Sandals. Um, I'm definitely functional. I wear a lot of gym clothes, but I love like the thrift shop. Now you guys get to ask each other questions. Ladies first. Um, what was your longest relationship? My longest relationship was seven years. Okay. Are you like a God person? Are you faith driven? Or are you into like, uh, like crystal stones, energy, stuff like that? I believe in God, Jesus. Awesome. Do you like animals? Um, I, I love animals. I'm kind of the animal whisperer, low-key. Uh, how do you feel about um, family? Are you into idea later on having kids in life, or are you more like a, a fur mom? Um, I want to get married, and kids are, I'm like neutral here or there. All right, balloons are still there. So I'm gonna ask you guys to take your blindfolds off. Again, you can still pop your balloon, but take your blindfolds off, see who the person is, and we will go from there. Okay. Awesome. All right, and why did you pop your balloon? I think he's a little bit older for me. Okay. Awesome. All right, well, thank you guys for playing and hopefully you find a match. Would you ever get back with one of your exes? I do not have an ex, so I can't answer that question. You've never been in a relationship? No. Okay, and what about you? No. What is a toxic trait that you have? A toxic trait that I have is that sometimes I, I, am a, I don't like to try new things and sometimes I could be late, sorry. <laughs> and you? Well, due to my parents being partially physically and emotionally absent from my life, I developed something called an avoidant attachment style. Mm. Okay, now you guys get to each ask each other questions. Ladies first. Hi, so what are you looking for in a relationship? What would be your ideal partner traits that you would like? Um, well, I'd love somebody I could do different activities with. I'm very active, you know, but I guess most stuff I want somebody I can communicate with and grow with. What are you passionate about? I am passionate about songwriting. I've been doing it since I was seven years old, and I've written a lot of songs. It just flows to me so I get out of my emotions and be able to tell stories. Nice. What would be your ideal place to visit? Travel. Bora Bora. I'm a big water guy. Okay. <laughs> and your question for her? 
How do you feel about nature? Um, I would I would say that I like nature, but I'm not an outdoorsy person. Like I don't need to go see the lions and like pet them or go in the deep forests and take pictures. That's not real of me. Okay, and I have a question for both of you guys. What's your sign? I am a Leo. And you? I'm a Cancer. Balloons are still there, so go ahead and take your blindfolds off and see who you've so far matched with. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Your name and your age? I'm Ethan. I'm 25. I'm Alina. I am 22. All right. Cool. So is it a yes for you? Um, I don't know. He's not normal in my type. Okay, but Bobby. is it... Sorry. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys so much. Hopefully you find a match. Who are you voting for? Ladies first. <gasps> this is the first question. <laughs> okay. Um, I am voting for whoever I feel is right. I'm, I'm probably not gonna vote for anybody, to be honest. Do you have any tattoos? If so, where? Yes, I have one on my left wrist, it's a phoenix. I have about nine or 10 just on my arms and chest. Do you love your mother? I absolutely do, she's my best friend. How do you feel about animals? I like them in nature. <laughs> Fair. <sighs> if you had to vote for a Trump or yay, which one? Trump or yay? Yes. Definitely yay. Okay. Do you have any siblings or it's just you? Two brothers, one sister. Cool. All right, last question. Ladies first, go ahead. Um, <laughs> good morning or grand rising? Oh, good morning for me. Ooh. By the grace, by the blood. Question for her? Um, would you say um, you're introvert or extrovert or are you... Definitely any Audi. It depends on the environment. Awesome. I have a question. What's your sign? Taurus. Cancer. All right. Take your mask off. You guys still have your balloons. And let's see. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Good. How are you? Good. And your name and your age? Janae, 38. Moses, 41. All right. Okay. Is it a yes for you? What's your height? I'm 5'6". I'm sorry. Short kings. Okay. <laughs> I'm 5'8". It's okay. just awkward for me. You That's know, all. They, they have those shoes no. with the... No. My guy can't wear a platform. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Not... All right. You're not ugly, I though? Try. No, I appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Well, right. hope you guys find a match. Are you more of a texter, caller, or FaceTime? Ladies first. FaceTime. And you? Call and FaceTime. Who's your celebrity crush? Mm. That's a great question. Oh my. Um, it has to be just one? Just one. Okay. I would have to say Michael B. And you? I'm going to have to go some mile later. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, now you each get to ask each other questions. Ladies first, what question would you like to ask him? BBL or natural? Natural. Mm, okay. And you? What are you looking for in a relationship? Communication. Definitely someone who's open-minded, adventurous. And um, a foodie. I'm a foodie. I like to cook and eat. All right, last question. What question do you have for him? What is your sign? I'm a Scorpio. Ooh, I ain't afraid to get wet. All righty. What are some of your hobbies? I am, oh goodness, hobbies, okay. Lately it seems to be some insecurity about the way I feel where I want to be. Scorpio, you know it's with you. Okay. <laughs> well, one of them is karaoke. I definitely am a foodie. And um, 
definitely going out to the movies. Does anyone go to the movies anymore? We can Netflix and chill, though. Mu museums, bike rides. Someone said a hike. I said 20-minute walk to start off with. <laughs> All right, time's up. And a comedy show. Okay, my bad, Lisa. I okay. you both have your balloons. Yeah. I'm going to ask you to take your balloons. Oh, I'm excited. Off. Grab the mic. Pop it if you don't. Okay, hold on. Put the mic down. The mic take right the blindfolds right. off. And okay. see who you match. Oh, my gosh. I'm excited. Hi! Okay, okay, okay. Yes. Nice smile here. Baby, thank you. Happen, okay. Um, right. wow. Okay. I'm Rosetta Tate. A pleasure to meet you. I'm old enough to know better. How old are you? 30, 35. 35. Okay, I'm 36. Okay. Is it a yes for you? Is absolute yes. It's a yes for me. Okay. What we have? Oh my God! Can I turn down? Can I turn down? Oh my God! Oh my God! Who are you voting for? Biden. Unsure. What is your dating style? Do you date one person at a time or multiple people? I can barely keep up with one person. So yes, I'm a one person dating style. Same, I like to focus. All right, I'll let you guys ask each other questions. Ladies first, any questions that you wanna ask him? What is the last book that you read? 48 Laws of Power. Um, describe yourself in three words. I'm creative, I'm spontaneous, and I'm Southern. When was the last time you spoke with your mom? This morning. What does intimacy mean to you? Intimacy is a lot of things. Um, it's intellectual, it's emotional, um, physical, of course. But um, it's several things, not just physical. All right, and I have one question for both of you guys. What's your sign? I'm a Sagittarius. I'm a Libra. All right, balloon's still there. Go ahead and take the blindfold off, see who you match with. You can still pop if you want. Hey. Damn. Okay. So sorry. And why did you pop your balloon? Um, it's just not my type. That's it. Okay. Yeah. All right, thanks guys for playing. Oh, Hopefully thanks. you find your match. Absolutely. All right, first question. Are you more of a text, call, or FaceTime person? Ladies first. Text in the beginning, and then everything else after once I get to know you. Text message, hashtag Team Android. No FaceTime. Damn! Oh. Okay, next question. Do you have any tattoos and where? I have four in various places. Five, actually. I do not. Okay, and I'll let you guys ask each other questions. Ladies first, what do you want to ask him? Hello. Um, let's see. What would you say is your most toxic trait? I'm analytical. It can come off as judgy sometimes, but I'm just evaluating you as an individual so I can get a better understanding of who you are. You meditate or yoga or journal? All three. What is your favorite thing to do, like your p favorite pastime? Singing, dancing, pretending I'm a EDM DJ at a rave festival. If I told you I don't participate in pagan holidays, would that be okay with you? For example, I don't participate in Valentine's Day. Damn. All right. Well, take your blindfolds off and see who you did not match with. And why did you pop your balloon? Technically, all holidays are pagan since they're all made up. So I feel like you can choose whatever you want to celebrate. All right, thanks for playing. Hopefully you find your match. I'm a Virgo. Gemini. Do you believe in friends with benefits? I think it's possible. Yeah, I mean, it just depends on the person and situation, chemistry. Okay. 
I'll let you guys ask each other questions. Ladies first, any questions you want to ask him? Where are you from originally? I'm from the north of the UK, but I've been in America about six years now, so my accent's kind of janky now. My dating history recently has been kind of crazy. I'm in the entertainment industry, so I've dated, like, you know, models and strippers and porn stars and all kinds of nonsense, but I'm kind of looking for something a little bit more simple now. Um, so what do you do for a living? Like, what's your situation? I'm a model. I do, I do, do, I do have an OnlyFans. Is that a deal breaker? Mm, possibly. Hey! Oh, all right, take your blindfolds off and see who you did not match with. Sorry, I've just, uh, Sorry. I've had some, some pretty hectic relationships with people in that industry, so. Gotcha. I'm, just, I'm trying to learn my lesson now at okay. this point, you know? Yeah. All right, well, Bye. thanks for playing. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Would you ever go through your partner's phone if they're not there? No. And you? Absolutely not. Would you rather date somebody fine and broke or rich and unattractive? Fine and broke. And you? I think fine and broke too. I like the humbleness. Okay, I'll let you guys take it from here and you can ask him a question that you want to know. Do you have any hobbies? Yeah, I do actually. I love hiking, playing sports, basketball, soccer sometime, uh, reading, you know, sometimes at the beach, stuff like that, yeah. And your question for her? Um, so what are you looking for right now? Like, where's your mind at and as far as the dating goes or anything like that? Um, I'm looking for someone who's ready to be committed to me. Um, yeah. Uh, what's your relationship with your mom like? It's pretty good, actually. Uh, I love her a lot. Yeah, we've been uh, through some uh, tough times, but I think through that we, uh, we got more closer. So, yeah. And your question for her? What's your background as far as, like, education, work, and things? Um, I recently got a master's in behavior analysis from Pepperdine. And I'm a program manager and a model on the side. All right, one last question that I have. What's your sign? Aries. I'm a Gemini. All right, it seems to be a match so far. Take your blindfold off. If you don't like what you see, you can still pop your balloon. Hey, how are you? All right, name and age. Hey! Sorry. All right, in sync at that. Okay, and why did you pop your balloon? Um, not my type. Okay, yeah. and why did you pop yours? Uh, not my type either. Sorry. Okay, Thank well, you. thanks for playing, you guys. Hope you find your match. And that's a wrap. I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of Roll the Dice on Love Speed Date Edition. Now, if you're in Los Angeles, California, and you want to be a part of this show, make sure to email rollthediceonloveinfo at gmail.com. And hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye. Who's ready for a quick story? A quick recap on my date tonight. OMG. Tip number one, never leave the table without your date's knowledge of knowing where you're going. Pretty important. I excused myself to the restroom and informed him. However, him on the other hand, how about when I returned? Poof, he magically disappeared along with the waitresses hounding me to settle his bill. Yeah, it was classic. It was like, oh, wow. It was like a dine and ditch. I was like, who does that though? This is 2024. However, I waited and waited while still being questioned by the wait staff as to who's taking care of the bill. Attitude Cafe LA, it's a phenomenal spot. The atmosphere, the music, the vibe. It's just really nice and it's cozy. And I could just appreciate, I appreciate all the hidden hearts and nooks and crannies. It was just really nice. Look at, look at all the highlights. Check them out. Okay, so I'm back. And he still hasn't returned to the tables. Therefore, I left. 
it was 58 minutes of just blandness. I mean, my Brussels sprouts that were a little bit more charred than I'd prefer had more flavor to them than him. And was he wearing the same outfit? I thought that was the same outfit. I'm pretty sure it was. Or maybe those are just his favorite colors. I don't know. Anyway, I digress. When I arrived, he was sitting there with his hands in his jacket pocket. I'm standing there at the table along with the waitress and still waiting to find out if he was going to get up to greet me, initiate some sort of maybe handshake, fist pump, head nod, something. And that's when I actually said, is this the part where you greet me, you get up, pull out my chair, I mean, you kind of gentleman-like things, right? Does that still, does that still, ex does that still exist in 2024? <sighs> okay. So you want to hear about my date, right? <laughs> what date? Tip number one, never leave your date unattended without them even knowing where you're going. I came back from the restroom and poof, I thought he was a magician. The waitresses, shout out to Tori and Liv, they actually thought I was going to foot his bill. <laughs> I didn't know what to say, although it was a really bland date. I mean, my Brussels sprouts, which were a little bit more charred than I prefer, had much more flavor. Tip number two. Don't forget your date's name. That is very crucial and very essential. I mean, it's almost the most important thing, if anything. I started to leave the restaurant. There was no need to be there. I waited and waited. And while I'm waiting, still being questioned by the wait staff to handle his bill, in which he stepped out on, I waited and left. And I heard a, <coughs> as if someone was choking on a chicken bone or something. And in the far distance, I thought I saw a speck of his red and black jacket. But at that point, it was point of no return. He left. He was uninterested. It was very clear. There was nothing else to be said. I've never so been on a date with someone who has an issue with putting their phone away, like off of the table, like put it in your pocket. So that is, there's no distractions. He refused to put his phone away. It had to be on the table. Like my phone stays on the table. My No, more like in this voice, my phone stays on the table. Yeah. Is, is that something new? What, what am I missing, everyone? Be in the moment. Tip number three, be in the moment. I would say that. Be in the moment. Put your phone away. Put it on vibrate if you need to. I mean, I get it. Single parents, we need to know what's going on. I get it. It's just an hour of your time to get to know you. And follow up. Tip number four. Follow up. First, there's no type of manners or maturity. And that's something... He has to work through, so. Well, it's just about time for me to get ready for bed, put my bonnet on, and just relax and just chill and pray. You know what? Speaking of praying, that was the highlight. I was really impressed that we actually, we prayed over the food. So that pretty much was, um, that was a very positive highlight. Other than that, everyone, have a good night. Be safe. And, um. Ladies, if you come across them, just run fast. So that's my recap video on the date with, um, what's it, what is his name? You know, it doesn't even matter because it's time for me to get some beauty sleep and refresh, rejuvenate, and it's a brand new day tomorrow. He fumbled. <laughs> so the date was not good. Um... <clears throat> 
I mean, my partner was into talking to everybody else, but the actual date, um, she was too energetic about nothing. And yeah, no, I end up leaving because clearly she wasn't into the date. She was just into it to take pictures and tell her friends and all this type of stuff. So, um, yeah, that's that.